to get it so that it goes, goes past. And then our abutment will slide out magically and easily. So there's the abutment. Pull our driving unit off and let's go take a look at this and see why we're going to replace the old abutment assembly with this new abutment assembly. As you can see, the fabrication of it is a little bit different. The new assembly has a magnet located directly under the port, whereas the old assembly had them stuck kind of on the sides. All right, they still do the same job. The plastic profile is the same. There's a bit of difference in the plastic itself on the seal, but it's still a very hard plastic seal. It doesn't wear out. It's actually a pretty good improvement. What we're looking for in this barrel is the fact that it is a one-piece steel barrel. It is not. It is seamless. It doesn't have a seam. And if you'll note the end of it, you'll note that the new barrel has a chamfer. That's a uh, bit of machining that's been done to reduce it from a 90-degree uh, shoulder angle to uh, something somewhat lesser. So the end result is we now have a new shot tube for the old gun. And once we get it installed in the gun, upgrade the barrel, upgrade the air tube, then we'll take a look and see just what this guy that's running about 204, 204, 205 feet a second, I expect to be doing closer to 350. So that's what we're up to today here at Restomod. Like I said, pretty simple repair. Uh, once we get those components swapped out, the uh, job is pretty much done, unless the customer decides he wants custom wood or something else. So that's all we've got for you today, kids. This is Shane Bruce with Rest of My Daisy, signing off.